Yo, what's up YouTube? Just a nice colourful background. Uh, and if anyone wants to know what I put these here for, it's just I'm painting some trainers that are white. You know, just having a go with like some leather paints. And, uh, right, okay, so uh, previously in a video I opened a... What was it? A Pokemon... Uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, trainers Toolkit. Right, you remember this? And what happened was I bought... Oh, I got one of these out of it, right? Now, I'm just going to give you an example of how I actually shipped the item, right? So this is the Pokemon coin, right? So I used an energy... Well, alright, yeah, an energy. I was going to say an energy card. But I used a sleeve, right? I used a sleeve. And I used... A grass energy card. I know this one's not a grass one, but we're using this for reference, yeah? So I put this in here, right? Then I put a bit of tape across the top of the sleeve, yeah? Right. So, now you know that, I'm now going to explain something else. So, here is an envelope with a stamp on it. Right, so there's an envelope with stamp. Now, I placed this had tape on the top. I placed this inside of an envelope, right? This inside of the envelope like this. So this is this is tape, remember, right? Like that, right? And I put it. So obviously, because if the energy card gets damaged, we don't care. It's an energy card, right? So basically, I then got tape. Oh, like, all right, so my friend got me some labels, right? Yeah. So my friend got me some of these. Now, these labels are really strong, right? So, you know, I stuck it with inside the envelope, right? So I use a bit of the tab that folds over this and then folded it over so it was sticking to it, right? So then when you fold this, obviously this is like a self-seal envelope. And then I would stick this down, right? So it's sealed, right? So let's just say the envelope is sealed right now. So I got one of these, right? Now these are like strips of uh, peel-back paper. So what you can do is you can peel these back, right? Yeah? You can peel these back. Now this is sticky, right? So this is peel back paper, right? And then what I would do is I would stick this along the top, all right? The back of the envelope, all right? So then I would then stick a following sticker on the back of the envelope, right? So there's no physical way that you can get this out of the envelope Without legit ripping like half the top of the envelope off. Right. So, you want to know something. This guy sends me a message. And, and bearing in mind, the one coin had a bit of like damage over the, f over the foil. Yeah. Because it came from that box. And you can check the video for the reference. You can check the video reference. Uh, which is the trainer toolkit on my channel and you'll see exactly what the issue was with the coin when I actually got it out from the box Okay, so these are obviously the things I used to stick down the envelopes, right? So this guy I'm only just going to give you a few examples of the message he says because um, Alright, so he said this this is the guy's name Johnny James as in J-M-A-E-S, right? He says, I received it today. Hi, but there's no token inside and the envelope was tampered with or opened before I did. Okay. Right. So what that means is Electro Stone is I was actually researching something, so I wrote that on there for anyone wants to know. So you see there was tape on top of the energy card, right? There was tape along here. So he claims that he didn't get his token. But someone 
has ripped the envelope. Because obviously you need to get into the envelope like... You need to get into the envelope, right? Like properly because all the stickers that are on there. Right? And then the tape. There's a piece of the tape on there. Okay. So he claimed that someone stole the token. Why would anybody at Royal Mail steal this? It's legit worthless. It's not a pound. It's not a coin. It's not a valuable two pound. One, it's bigger than a pound coin. It's smaller than a 50p. You know, it's not even as big as a two pound. It's not as heavy, you know, right? So anyway, backwards and forwards messages. He sends me some nonsense like, uh, hold on, let's get into this. All right, so he claims he didn't get it, right? So I put, what? And then he's like, so he's put, I did receive it today. I have this no token inside. Someone's tampered with it. Ah, so you're trying to get a refund or you want the token for free. That's what you're basically trying to say. Right. Okay. They're sending me another message like, there's a token in, there was no token inside. I need to drink a bought water so I'll be at a dry mouth, yeah? Right. So then he says, when I opened the envelope, there was a sleeve with an energy card. No poison token. Hmm, okay. Well, the token was taped in the energy card. <laughs> okay. Hmm, okay. You, you still didn't get it. Alright. So, then he sends me another message like this. Okay. Right. So, I can't show his full address. Right. But this is how he showed the thing. So this is the guy, Electro Stone. If you don't know what an Electro Stone is, it's basically like when lightning hits the hit the water or the sea, uh, it creates a stone, like an actual stone. And I was looking for one, so I wanted to have one. Like I was looking at it as a, like a collectible. Um, you know, it's when and and these people in the UK go out and like find them in I think Wales or something. So this is what he says. This is his username. The image shows exactly what came in the post. There is no token on the inside as just the card. The card was sealed in the sleeve. Alright, okay. The card was sealed within the sleeve. Yes, it was. All right. But there was no token inside. The token was sealed with inside the sleeve with the energy card. Okay, right. Just the energy card. I open it, make sure there was nothing. I have witnesses who can vouch for me being nothing when I opened it. I'm asking for a refund, but a replacement. Because the guy is unhappy with, with the token one with has got the scratch on. So I sold him this for £1.65, you know. He's probably like, I'm not paying £1.65 for this. I want a better one in better condition. Because obviously, after I sold that one, I listed another one online. So he obviously knows I had another one, right? This guy is an utter, complete liar. Yeah? Utter, complete liar. As as much as you might say on the video, oh, this guy isn't a liar. He is a liar. Yeah? He is a liar. You know why? Because if the energy card was sealed with inside the envelope when he opened the envelope, the token should be there because you can't get into the envelope. You cannot get into the envelope without taking it from the sealed. So if someone had opened the envelope and resealed it, they wouldn't have. You would have known straight away. The guy's just a liar. He wants his money back. That's all it is. Because eBay are like, oh, I don't want to pay for it. I don't want to pay for it, you know. And people like this, right, you just need to ban off your eBay page. Never sell to them again, ban them, and just don't deal with trolls. Like, this is a guy, yeah, alright, so here, yeah, I'm going to show you something else. So, okay. Alright. Uh, personal hotspot. Yeah, I've got a personal hotspot on right now. Uh, to another phone. I'll say, so, oh, right, okay. So I put, 
And why would someone steal a plastic token? Why? Why would someone steal a plastic token? Because they haven't. He's making out that he's received it without the item in it. Yeah? I am very intelligent when it comes to this. You know, I sit on cryptos buying in on, you know, green and red candles. Yeah? You know, I am an intelligent being. Yeah? It's just, you know, I know all these scammers on eBay. I know every trick they play. Because I've experienced everyone multiple times. And they all say the same thing. Yeah? They're all saying this, like, copy and paste, like, kind of thing. It's all the same. Right. I'm not going to continue this argument with you. And I am disappointed both that you would accuse me in this way. And we could not resolve this. You have lost my business. This guy has never bought from me. Never. Yeah? This is the first time. So when I see a username that I don't see very often... Or if I see a username that I know buys off me, I know they're going to get their item. Yeah? Like this guy. Never seen his username before. He's never bought off me. And if he's someone on my, if he's someone from my YouTube, like, you need to grow up. Like, seriously. Yeah? You have lost my business. I'm considering reporting this to eBay and I will definitely be leaving a very poor review. Like, do I care? No. Yeah? Do you report me to eBay? Do you think eBay is going to remove me from your platform? No. eBay, right, I have got over the hardest ban you can ever get banned on eBay, which is the, the 133 account ban, yeah? The one where they said an indefinite, indefinite, we ain't changing our minds, yeah? And I got past an indefinite ban, yeah? So for anyone who sits there and says, this guy's lying or this guy's not chatting shit or whatever, right? I got past an indefinite ban. So why is eBay going to ban me when I can call eBay and say, you know how many items I sell? You clearly know this is someone making out. They didn't get the item to get free, free stuff, right? And how many times I have spoke to people on eBay with the PR and the, like, the actual proper high head of department, like head of, I can't remember what the department's called, like, it's called a specific department, it, it, eBay. And they literally told me that before, when I spoke to them, their account is under investigation. That's all we're going to tell you and what we, we, we tell. We can't tell you if we ban them, but we will be placing a suspension. Yeah? That's what they told me on the phone. They said we will be placing a suspension, but we won't tell you how long. Yeah? On someone's account that was trolling me before. Yeah? So, this guy, ha, you're great, right? Now you've just been put online, and now everyone knows your username, yeah? So, and also, don't sell to anyone that don't have any feedback, yeah? Sorry this video's long, it took a long time, it's a lot to explain, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you next time. And please, ban trolls like this on eBay. Ban them. As soon as you get this, ban them. Because it's the same typo message that happens every single time when I ship them coins, and people make out they don't get them. Like, like Royal Mail stealing them. People at Royal Mail would not steal a plastic Pokemon token. They would be like, this is a Pokemon coin. They don't care. They would put it back in the envelope and send it back. Why would anyone steal that? If it's a tenner or 20 quid, I get it. You take it, yeah? But if it's two pound or one pound, you know, you open a thousand of them, a thousand claims of mail come through. That's why, that's why Royal Mail is changing the barcodes. That's why they're putting barcodes on stamps. So they know... That the barcodes are on stamps so they can scan it when it's been delivered. And that means that every piece of mail is getting delivered and no one's not receiving it. So when the new system comes in, we're in, we're in next year, not, there'll be none of this. There'll be none of this no more. Because it'll be like, no, it's delivered. You, you've got it. You've got the item. Don't matter. Right, thanks for watching. Peace.